How's it going, everyone? It's Sam. We have some pretty crazy things happening here today. And honestly, uh, I think it's blowing a lot of people's minds what's happening right now. Bitcoin's falling down a little bit, but we have some good news. So be ready. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on the bell notification underneath the video so you can see future videos like this as soon as I make them. There are a couple links underneath the video. One is to Marjax, where you can trade cryptocurrency using leverage. And you can also short the market if you think it's going to keep on going down. We have some people causing a lot of fear out there saying that we're going to fall down much further. Well, if they believe that, well, they can put their money where their mouth is by shorting the market. And there is an airdrop going on right now on Marjax. So you can get in on this for free. Just hit the join now button. By the way, Zach Humphreys says the Casper chart is one of the best charts I've seen in crypto over the last two years. Actually, he says it is the best chart. Prove me otherwise. So if you're very bullish on Casper, you can actually trade it here. They have it on the chart or they have it on Marjax. You can trade and leverage that if you want even better gains. But let's move back into what's happening here today. Elon Musk changes his profile picture. He no longer has laser eyes. The bull market is over. Of course, I'm kidding here, but he did change his profile pic. A lot of people worried about that. Uh, but I think the main thing that happened here today, well, two main things. In the past hours, Mt. Gox distributed 48,000 Bitcoin worth $3.2 billion. This leaves them 42,000 Bitcoin to distribute. All eyes are on exchanges now who will distribute the coins to their rightful owners accordingly. Apparently, Kraken has already started to do this. So some Mt. Gox investors are finally starting to get their their Bitcoin back, which honestly, good for them. They were some of the first buyers. They should have their rightful Bitcoin. A lot of people are worried about this. Now, I'll be clear. I think this has caused the market to fall down, like news about Mt. Gox Bitcoin being distributed the algos are running away with this. They see that there's Mt. Gox Bitcoin being distributed. They automatically sell. There's some liquidations. I don't think all that much Bitcoin is actually being sold by Mt. Gox uh, investors. They're some of the earliest people that invest in Bitcoin. And honestly, I think if if there was a big amount being dumped, I think we'd fall down further. Honestly, this has been kind of a dip for ants. This is FUD for ants. And there's still people that are trying to freak out the market like Whale Fudd, who is a large Twitter account, 416,000 followers, say longs are about to be liquidated, sub 50k Bitcoin incoming, saying we're going to hit new lows. This Twitter account actually continued to uh, bear post all day. This is my last tweet. Stocks and crypto are entering a bear market. I'll be back when the time is right. Good luck says dumb money enters at the ETF listing. Smart money has been in Bitcoin and Ethereum since before you were even born. I mean, obviously, that that's a joke. A lot of people, I mean, I think everyone within crypto was born uh, at least before 2010. Maybe not. Maybe there are some 13-year-olds uh, in this uh, on this channel. Let me know in the comment section if that's you. But this is coming at the same time we have ETH ETF listing day or ETH ETF day. And the volume actually hit a billion, which was pretty bullish. This happened with over an hour left in trading. I don't know exactly ending numbers that being well distributed uh, across the web yet. I guess I could do the math myself, but uh, we have a pretty good trading day, honestly, because the Bitcoin ETFs, I believe, were right under 5 billion ETH over 1 billion, maybe about 20 to 25 percent of what Bitcoin did day one. Honestly, that's pretty good. Now, was this done to Ethereum's price? Let's take a look at this. It's pushed. Uh, well, it's it's pushed it pretty much sideways throughout the day. Okay, pretty much no movement on Ethereum compared to Bitcoin, which has fallen throughout the day. So honestly, ETH is outperforming a little bit. It's outperforming Solana today too, with Solana down five percent, BNB is down two percent. So honestly, not a terrible day from Ethereum. There could be some overhang, as we've said, from the uh, grayscale Ethereum. Maybe some people are selling that. But overall, I think this was relatively successful. Now we have to wait to see what the inflows look like. But overall, it's good. 
if you assume a 20% net inflow, which again, uh, you don't want to assume anything today, but let's just say 20% net inflow, it would say that uh, it would give us about $200 million of flows into Ethereum. Keep in mind the amount of ETH issued so far this year, and I double checked this, is $160 million worth of Ethereum. So one day can cause more buying than the issuance of Ethereum throughout the entire year. I mean, that that's kind of nuts. Like, I get why people are bullish. If we see inflows, it could really make Ethereum move. We also have some other news. Toyota is looking to adopt Ethereum and use blockchain technology in their vehicles. Okay, interesting. Don't really know the details on that. But Hamilton Lane also... Coming out with some news, $900 billion asset manager becomes the first asset manager to launch a fund on the Solana blockchain. We have Fed rate cuts priced in 96.1% certainty for September. Again, this was kind of a weak sell the news event. A lot of people are very bullish right now. David Bailey, who's the CEO of Bitcoin Magazine, also the CEO of the Bitcoin Conference, says, we're in talks with Kamala Harris. For her to speak at the conference would be very savvy for her to reset the Democrat positioning, the Democrat positioning on the fastest growing voter block in the country. They're making up their minds today. I mean, imagine that. Imagine if the Democrats and the Republicans were also were both bullish on Bitcoin and crypto assets. Imagine the narrative change from the current regime. I think this would be extremely bullish. And yeah, I mean, the fact that they're even in talks means that the campaign or Kamala Harris is open to it. So that's fascinating. Keep in mind, we continue to see inflows. Who knows what happens today? But yesterday we had about half a billion dollars worth of inflows into the Bitcoin ETF. So yes, the price of Bitcoin has fallen a little bit today. People are worried we're under 66,000. We were just at 68,000. But keep in mind, just a couple of weeks ago, we were at 53,000. So, I mean, we're still nowhere close to that level. We're still much higher than we were a couple of weeks ago. Even a week ago, we were right around this price. So, uh, keep that in mind. You know, zoom out when in doubt. Overall, I think this was a very successful day for the ETH ETFs. Assuming that there were not significant outflows, let's say Grayscale uh, was uh, accounting for a couple hundred million dollars worth of outflows and the other ETFs just kind of trade sideways with no inflows, I think that would be a bit of a letdown, but we'll have to pay attention to those numbers when they come out later today. I'll be reporting on it tomorrow. Just a little heads up, we have a very, very cool video coming out later tonight uh, and tomorrow I'll be traveling. So. I have a couple videos planned I think are going to be really good. Of course, if you want to hit subscribe, you can see all those videos. They'll come right to you. And if you want to trade cryptocurrency, there's a link to Margex underneath the video and to CoinW as well. Both of those have some cool airdrops going on right now that are completely free to you. All you have to do is trade. So definitely check those out. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.